the world's most youthful world pioneer, 31-year-old Sebastian Kurz, has pledged to crush the new world order and leave the European Union. The Austrian outside clergyman and pioneer of Austria's People's Party, proclaimed triumph in the national decision on Sunday after more than 90 percent of the tickets had been checked. Kurz, a hostile to settler and eurosceptic conservative, stated, I might obviously want to shape a steady government. In the event that that is impossible at that point there are different alternatives, adding that he wanted to counsel with all gatherings yet would first sit tight for a tally of postal votes that starts on Monday. Kurz needs to slice Austria's formality and has more than once said amid his crusade that the Austrian individuals are tired of New World Order globalist strategies by EU elite stash which he says he will end when chosen. Dailymail.co.uk reports, as well as his vow on payouts to transients, Kurz needs to slice Austria's formality and keep the EU out of national undertakings. At 31. Kurz is youthful even by the principles of Europe's current youth development, which saw Macron enter the Elysee Palace at 39 years old and Christian Lindner, 38, lead Germany's Liberal Free Democrats, FDP, once again into the Bundestag. Kurz and Lindner demonstrated that youthful new faces can infuse dynamism into old foundation parties that have lost their way with voters. Kurz rebranded the OVP as the New People's Party and changed its hues from dark to turquoise. Lindner utilized stylish high-contrast battle publications that demonstrated him gazing at his cell phone to revive the FDP's picture. Macron, to framed his own political development, could paint himself as a radical untouchable notwithstanding having served for a long time under fizzled French socialist François Hollande. What's more, in Italy, where the two best competitors in one year from now's race are probably going to be Luigi Di Maio, the new 31-year-old pioneer of the upstart five-star development and previous head administrator Matteo Renzi, who at 42 looks sold by Europe's new principles. By taking a hard line on movement that left little sunlight amongst him and the far-right Freedom Party, FPO, 31-year-old Foreign Minister Kurz figured out how to impel his People's Party to the lead position and draw some help far from the FPO floated by Europe's relocation emergency. The two gatherings expanded their offer of the vote from the last parliamentary decision in 2013, denoting a sharp move to one side. Chancellor Christian Kern Social Democrats were in a nearby race with the FPO for second place. Today Kurz was imagined voting in the Austrian capital Vienna close by his better half Suzanne Thier, a bank service specialist who he met at 18 years old. Without uncovering which way he was inclining toward coalition talks, the 31-year-old told his supporters, it is our assignment to work with all others for our nation. Austria, a rich nation of 8.7 million individuals that extends from Slovakia to Switzerland, was a portal into Germany for more than one million individuals amid the relocation emergency that started in 2015. A large number of them were escaping war and destitution in the Middle East and somewhere else. Austria additionally took in approximately 1% of its populace in haven searchers in 2015, one of the most astounding extents on the mainland. Numerous voters say the nation was overwhelmed. Kurz's system of concentrating on that issue seems to have paid off. Kurz, named party pioneer just in May, has been mindful so as to keep his coalition choices open, yet he called a conclusion to the present cooperation with the Social Democrats, compelling Sunday snap decision. He has swore to shake up Austrian legislative issues, ruled for quite a long time by coalitions between those two gatherings. While they would propose he will swing to the counter-Islam FPO, he has additionally said there could be administration changes inside the losing parties, a conceivable allude to being willing to work with the Social Democrats if Chancellor Christian Kern were removed as pioneer by Defense Minister Hans-Peter Doskozil. Kern, be that as it may, said he planned to remain on as gathering pioneer. Inquired as to whether the misfortune would affect his political profession, Kern stated, no. I have said I will remain in governmental issues for a long time and there are nine years to go. The Social Democrats, SPO, have likewise opened the way to shaping coalitions with the FPO, 
which means the far-right gathering might have the capacity to play the two gatherings off against each other amid coalition talks. In any case, it is exceedingly far-fetched that the Social Democrats would align with the FPO if the SBO came third. An unmistakable photo of the race for second place may not be accessible until Monday, given the expansive number of postal votes, around one out of seven, the majority of which won't be checked until at that point.